how to create some interesting text wrap features in Affinity Publisher. Now I've got brush strokes here, I've got vector designs that I've created all the way through, and they're all wrapping this with this text here. Now if I remove it, straight away you can see what happens. That's a layer and it's just been doing that. So how to create that? What you can do, I'm just gonna quickly add some text. And oh, I'm in the persona, I don't want to be in that one. So I want to go to the publisher persona. That's where you want to be, publisher persona. Sometimes I end up going into the photo persona and that's where I want to be in the end. So you're in Infinity Publisher in the publisher persona. Now, just quickly go and add some text and I'm using the frame and I'm just going to quickly add that. Six point, aerial, if you're reasonable. And once you've done that, go to, I want to fill it with something. So text. That's the text menu and insert for the text. So you've got the text there. What you can then do, you can add say any of the shapes. And I'm just going to add a shape, very small shape like that. And you can see obviously it's on top of the text. Don't want that. I want it to wrap around. So just click up here. There's a little option there. Click there. And I'm going to go with tight. And you can see as soon as you do that, you can move that around. And of course, you can vary the settings there. I'm going to close that now. Now what I want to do, I want to spread that out across the image. I want to make the layer bigger. So I'm just going to go to, this is the photo persona. That's where you can do all the pixel work. Now this will turn the ellipse into pixel design. So you go into there. And now what I can do, I've got filters. So I'm going to filters and there's a number of filters. You've got distort. And there's deform, I could use that one. But there's also equations. Equations are a real nice one. So equations, and again, it will come up there. Finally showing that we're actually going to be working as pixels. So it's converted. With this equation, what it does, it can create all kinds of multiple copies of the design and tweak and distort this in multiple ways. You can actually put all kinds of different formulas into this equation, very complex formulas. There's quite a lot of documentation about the equations. And also there's quite a lot of graphic extras tutorials about Affinity Photo and the equations. Obviously, they obviously also work with this as well, Affinity Publisher. But there might be some limitations. I have no idea. I haven't tested every single one. Unfortunately, you can't have presets in this. So what you can do, you can go, say, three times X. And I'm just going to say three times X. And you can see, do that, or X divided by three. And you can see you can create it over there. But what you can also do, you can go three times X, three times Y. And you can see it just goes up to the top, which is not particularly very useful. What it's done is just shrunk it. Well, what you can do, you can also go to zero. You can go for repeat, which doesn't seem to do much, but wrap. So wrap just generates that. Now, you, at this point, it doesn't hasn't done any text wrap even though it says wrap there, doesn't do. It's only when it finishes when you click apply. And as soon as you do that, you can see now you've got quite a, a decent sized layer there, which you can, of course, resize. And as soon as you resize it, of course, I could have done not three times, I could have been done 10 times, and so on and so on. And of course, you can always duplicate that as well. So you can see you can create all kinds of like polka dot designs. But I don't want to do that. I want to create now some tight uh, brush. Brush strokes. So I've got the brush, just go over here to the paintbrush, and I'm still in the photo persona. Now, weirdly, I don't, yes, it does actually show it that you're in the photo persona. I was going to say, does it show it anywhere? It does. Just got it up there. So you know you're still in there. Well, the brush stroke now should add the brush stroke. And you can see as soon as you add it, Sometimes when I do this, I go in there and it doesn't add it. So if it doesn't suddenly do it, there's a very odd, but it sometimes has a mind of its own and suddenly it just doesn't seem to do it. And of course, you can apply any kind of brush. Now, I'm just using a very basic brush, but if you go to View, Studio, and of course, you've got brushes there now. There's my brushes over there. A load of different brushes. And of course, you go for engraving, pens. Maybe go for a pen. One of those. And you can see, you can then do that and do that. Obviously, you can make, take more time and care. You can create all kinds of maybe spiral designs or whatever, or just some scribbles. 
in there. And you can see, you can create some very unusual text. Now, what you can also do is, of course, you've got up here, oh, quite a nice feature, you've got symmetry. So you can click there, and oh, I'm gonna go with say, some symmetry there, and you can see, you can create that. So that's just using the symmetry. Now, there, I've got a lot of tutorials about brushes and symmetry and how you can use that. So you can change that if you want, and you can add another one there. Obviously, the more you add, the more the text is just gonna be spread out. You might not want that. But I'm just gonna finish at this point. So I've got that design there. Okay, just finish, otherwise I could keep sort of going. However, of course, you can do more than that. You've got filters as well. Obviously, show with the uh, equations, you could apply that to that as well. Do that, repeat that. Equations, perfectly reasonable. You can also use colors and there's procedural textures. You can add a whole load of amazing, and I've also got tutorials about that on the Graphic Extra channel. So you could add some very interesting color effects to this design. Now, actually, you can go into there and you can see straight away, you've got some presets, which is quite nice. So you've got checkered there and you can see it adds checkered to the design. So there's, there's all those sort of increase. Now, maybe you might not want that for your, uh, obviously, uh, design there. But what you can also do, you can add other brushes. Also, you can add other filters, not just the, that one. You can go for mirror or deform. So deform there. And you can add maybe some, let's go some pins there. And I quite like the similarity. I always go for similarity. I seem to prefer. And you can manipulate. The design and distort it so you can see then and again the text doesn't change at this point let's say let's just squeeze that I'm just applying some effects so just click apply and again, as soon as you've done that see the text again wraps around that image so you can create all kinds of different designs using this approach so once you're happy with everything and you've decided that's it I don't want to go any further what you can do you can always go to back to the publisher persona. So now this is, as it says there, pixel. And of course you can resize it and you can see, do that. You can see it wrapping around there. Obviously you've got it slightly cut off because I went off the edge. And also you can do, hold down the alter option key. And again, you can see it will do that. And again, you can create, maybe it's not what you, makes the right tangle a mess, but you can see you can create all kinds of different designs. So that's uh, a quick way of creating some interesting text layouts using brush strokes as well as vector layers for start with, as well as the photo persona in Affinity Publisher. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always any new tutorials about Affinity Publisher, photo, designer, Photoshop, Illustrator, Critter, Rebel, and many, many others. If you've got any comments, please let me know. What have I done right? What have I done wrong? What things? Now, I'm certain that some people will turn around and say, I would never want this in my magazines or my designs. It's just great. But for some people, it's a great way of creating some very interesting text layouts that you might not be able to achieve, particularly uh, with a standard approach to uh, sort of adding. The... Also, what other things would you like? I mean, you know, just you know, showing this area. Perfectly reasonable just to say, well, I would like you so maybe more vectors, maybe more pixel designs, but how, how can I use more filters? Please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.